So here we go, this is it, what a video we have in store for you today, not clickbait, we haven't baited you in here, this is the greatest team in FIFA career mode history, no not just in FIFA 20, in career mode history, I'm going to put the house on it, I've put my bets on that no one else could beat this team in career mode, I dare you to find a better team in FIFA, forget the team of the year, who needs them when you've got the greatest FIFA 20 career mode team ever assembled. I mean, maybe keep Mbappe, but the rest, yeah, we can bin them off. But on we go. Here we are at the start of the 2025-2026 season as the GOAT, and we have assembled one of the greatest teams to grace the footballing world. Before we dive straight into the side, I just want to show you their overall progress and their overall records throughout this, what, six, seven seasons we're now in. With 301 games played, 227 wins, 43 draws, and only 31 losses, scoring 600. 47 goals in the process and only conceding 177. Now that is a record to absolutely admire. Somehow they lost the game 3-0 to Venezia, so I guess they can claim that they've beaten this side, but no other team in the world can, all right? Anyways, the moment you've all been waiting for, the best team in FIFA 20 career mode history, and just take a look at it, 99, 98, 93s, 90s all around, and it only gets better the more you look at it, just, oh, I can't even contain myself, this is how excited I am looking at this. It has taken me years to build this squad, we've been through hell and back but finally we have gathered all the top talent in all of Europe to join us here at Frosinone and we are taking over the world one player at a time. 99 rated Mbappe is well and truly ahead of his time. He is above the pack as well as 98 Havertz, 93 Paqueta and then Frankie Dion comes close in at a 97. Then our back line a 96 Grinia. 97 Laporte, and then no one is getting past this man in goal. 96 Oblak. We've still got talent on the substitutes and in the reserves that could grow and perform beyond their overall and get to a elite level. It's just the lack of game time and the dynamic potential, of course, needs game time to happen. And when we've got a squad size this big, not everyone's getting a chance every 90 minutes. So I guess Kylian Mbappe is the golden boy at 99 overall. But wait, wait, wait. Rewind the tape. We are not done here yet. I want to collect every single 90 rated player in this career mode save in the world. Not only do I want to flex this insane amount of talent we have in this squad, but I also want to sign and capture every single player above the overall of 90. And we're only missing four key players here. We've got Rodri, Marquinhos, Dembele, and Sestegen. And then we also have some other upcoming wonder kids that we could get our hands on as well. Not only are we getting the current stars of now, but we've also got the Cristiano Ronaldo region and of course the Lionel Messi region that we're also looking to capture as well so we're looking forward to the present but we're also keeping our eyes open for the future as well I mean this is a foolproof plan and just to put this career mode save and this achievement into perspective by the time I built this squad and made this team possible and I started this save a few months ago the likes of Ansu Fati doesn't even exist in this save because I started it before he got added into career mode. So it shows how long we've been grinding away and picking away at this team, making it better and better. The likes of Ansu Fati, Kamavinga, Pedri, all those 90 potential gems, unfortunately don't make the cut into this squad. The GOAT has achieved perfection here. He's gotten that 100 manager rating. There's no stopping this mad lad right now. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! And here we go then, we run the race for Marquinhos, another 90 rated star joins the squad. This is going to be like the Super Smash Bros of FIFA career mode, everyone's joining. Just when you thought we didn't have enough, we're reaping even more talent from world football. We are taking over, we aren't here to participate, we are here to take over, that is the motto. I'd honestly be surprised if the entirety of world football hates us right now, but we don't care because we have signed yet another super talent in the Canadian 
Jonathan David, 88 overall, 25 years of age, like I said, is another bright and upcoming talent. He's established himself into an elite player, and you know what that means. He's joining up with the squad. We've signed him for 150 million. Welcome to Frosinone, the greatest team of all time. So we still didn't have enough 90 rated players. Our fourth goalkeeper joins us right now, and it is Mark andre to Stegen. Get in there for 80 million pounds, 93 overall. We had to have you in here. I don't care if you don't play any games. We've just got to have you on our roster. What are these now? The last two 90 rated players. We've got Rodri over from Manchester City. This is going to be the Avengers of career mode teams right here. Everyone is joining. Every single hype, most powerful player is joining us here. Don't underestimate my statement in saying this is the best team of all time because it just is. It's facts at this point. I feel like the Thanos of FIFA 20 career mode. We are just snapping away and bringing in talent left, right and center. Erling Brad Haaland and Nicolo Zaniolo are joining up. 88 overall and 87 respectively. And we've brought them in to make this side even better. I don't even know if that's possible at this rate, but you know what? We might as well try. And I feel like there is a squad limit and squad size you are restricted to having. And I feel like we're going to go over it very, very soon. And Udinese, I bet they don't have a chance up against this super squad. Only 3-0, boys. You held back there. Come on, lads. And the 90 club was almost close to getting a brand new member today. But Bernardo Silva, he's 89 overall. Absolutely unacceptable from the lad. Unacceptable condition. The 90 club is only something special players can be a part of. And now that he's hit 31, you know what that means. It's downwards trajectory from now on out. And just to put the icing on top of this career mode cake right now, we have invested not only in the present, but in the future as well. The next generation is joining along as we've signed the Ronaldo region, Luis Manuel Barros Suarez. I mean, it has the exact same ring to it. The 20-year-old striker, he's going to turn into the next reincarnation of Cristiano Ronaldo. And the Lionel Messi region, Franco Barreto, the Argentinian right winger. They've got a lot to learn from the best team of all time. And I'm sure their growth is going to go through the roof. Lionel Messi and Ronaldo 2.0, they are joining the fight. And yeah, I think that'll do us for now. 45 players and they're all at the club. Oh my goodness gracious me. You know what? Lucky last. Let's make a 46. Romagnoli is joining us as well. And the GTN scouts just don't even know what to do with themselves really. Just sack them all because there's no point scouting anywhere. We've got all the best players right here, boys. You've been made redundant, unfortunately. I'm sorry to deliver the bad news. I feel like we just went through the process of collecting the last few infinity stones, the last few pieces of the jigsaw puzzle to complete this team as a whole. 1.155 billion pounds spent. That is just an exuberant amount of money. Man City, PSG, forget them. They can't even compete with us right here. Frosinone, the kings of the world come 2025. Mark my words. Just take a look at this quality, this depth we have to offer. We have three team sheets right now, three different squads we could deploy, and we'd probably still get the job done at the end of the day. Like, you'd think a game against us Swallow at home. How, how is this side going to do? The first team, surely, like... How? How is it a nil-nil draw? Look at that side we have. Oh, the simulation system in career mode. You've got to love it. And the main question is really, how far can this team go? Can they win the treble? Can they be invincible in the league? It is extremely possible that they can be invincible and win the treble this year. So that is going to be our aim going into this video. We're going to simulate all the way to the end and see what happens with the greatest team of all time. And you love to see it. Defenders to watch in 2025. Yeah, it's basically our whole entire back line. You knew it was coming. You just never thought it would happen. You didn't think it was possible, but we've gone ahead and achieved it. And finally, we get some news on the Ballon d'Or of 2025. And you guessed it, just like the Defenders wish list, we've basically got every single nominee, every single Ballon d'Or nominee. Has this ever happened in football where one club shares all three or all four Ballon d'Or nominees? We are just out here breaking records and it's Bernardo Silva, Jonathan David, Ja Felix, and the man, Kylian Mbappe, who is surely a red-hot favorite to win it. And here we are. It's finally announced. The anticipation was building, but there could only be one champion in the end. The 2025 Ballon d'Or winner, Kylian Mbappe. It's gone to Frosinone's Mbappe, 99 rated. 
Could it have even gone to anyone else? It would have been a fast if it went to another player. And the Frenchman, he should just be called Mr. 99 because those are the only stats that I'm seeing on that page. Valued at over 200 million pounds, he is a well-deserved winner. Let's see how this side do in the Champions League, Serie A and all that good stuff. And maybe we can fit in a nice little game at the end. We're going to have to wait and see. But the best team of all time, show me what you got. And here we are at the end of the season. And of course, they found themselves in a Coppa Italia final. You all know what that means. Let's simulate this one and see how they do. Surely, we're going to win big here. Let's see. Against Torino, a 4-0 victory. Kai Havertz with the hat-trick. And it's Frankie Dion getting the fourth. Like, I want to see some big results. I want to see, like, some 6 nils, 7 nils, 8 nils. What's going on here, lads? 5 nil, just not good enough. I can't even look these guys in the eyes anymore. Come on, you've got to be scoring more than that. And shot, Cora, we've won the Serie A. We've taken out the Scudetto with 108 points, no losses. We were invincible, only with three draws. 18 points ahead of Napoli in second. Juventus finishing all the way down in sixth. And yeah, what a time to be alive. Not only the best team that Italy has ever witnessed, but also the best team that the world and maybe even the universe will ever see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses, lads. Okay, we weren't actually invincible there. The mighty Sassuolo have stolen our crown in the Supercoppa Italia. And that's what happens when you simulate away games in career mode. But the funny thing is that that wasn't even an away game. So I don't know what was up there. And surprise, surprise, we find ourselves in the Champions League final up against a round. Madrid. Los Blancos are coming up against us. They've got a task on their hands as we finish top of Group D. Perfect in that one. We'll take a look. Who did we knock out in the round of 16? 7-1 on aggregate to PSG. In the quarterfinals, we took out Juventus 6-1 and then Liverpool got the shellacking of their lives. They've been humiliated there because over two legs we defeated them 9-1 on aggregate. See you later, Jurgen Klopp because we are making our way to that Champions League final. We're going to play this one in 2026. And in case you're Wondering if this is the man in charge of the best team ever. It is the GOAT in charge. And there he is, manager of Frosinone. He's pretty much got the best job in the world. He's sitting back relaxing and he's letting the boys do the work. And we're going to take a look at our main performers here this season. Please let me know down in the comments below or tweet me at BCHD official. Do you have a better squad than this? Is your best ever career mode side any match for this? Because I honestly think we've broken records here. In terms of our top performers this year, we have another player in the 99 club card. I have us with 38 goals and 21 assists, 54 appearances in there as well. Harry Kane still going strong at 32 years of age, a total of 11 overalls lower than Havertz, but he still managed to bag in 37 goals and 6 assists. And then the captain, Kylian Mbappe, the Ballon d'Or winner with 30 goals and 11 assists. And then Frankie de Jong in there with 11 goals and 6 assists. Disappointing seasons from the likes of Jao Felix only with 6 goals, but Kimmich from right back getting 11 assists and 6 goals. And then Tadali with a decent season, 5 goals and 2 assists. I was actually expecting more like high performers and top goal scorers and stuff like that, but it seems like it was very spread out. We didn't have like too many main performers in this squad. As you can see there, there's only about three. In terms of our four goalkeepers, it was of course Shadow Black, 96 overall, 32 clean sheets in 47 games. So Stegen and Edison also did quite well, but as you can see here, they're the best team in career mode, but they're still experiencing some growth and decline right here with the older type players now in their 30s are going down. But you can see on the other side of the spectrum, there's also a lot of growth being done. And okay, there's not too much growth being done, but there is some growth with the regens and, of course, the younger type players like Haaland, Felix, Tonali, De Ligt. But the rest are just, yeah, they're in their peak. They've plateaued. And that is the peak of their powers, of course. 99 overall for both Kylian Mbappe and Havertz. That is our lineup going into the final this year. Unfortunately, there could only be room for one starting 11 in our 45-46 man squad right here. That is the team we are going for. Let's see what we can do up against Real Madrid. Create history here tonight with the best team career mode has ever seen. Is this
Now, can we finish what we started here? Kylian Mbappe will kick us off in the Champions League final. 90 plus rated players coming out the wazoo in this squad. We could probably win this game with our eyes closed right now, but let's just go ahead and get the job done. He's going to cut it back, and I can just feel so powerful with this squad in my hands. Real Madrid are already surrendering to their knees. And look at De Jong, passed it through. It's Kylian Mbappe, surely will take on the shot. And then the little chip from Sandro Tonali off the line by Real Madrid. Here we have Lucas Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta cuts inside, finds Mbappe. Mbappe with the strike, and it was so, so close. Martin Odegaard, the Norwegian, fumbles his way through. Lucas Hernandez can't deal with him, and Real Madrid have flipped the script right now. They've taken a shock opener. And it's Christian Eriksen, a man who's always haunting me in career mode this year. The Dane gets a goal, and the Los Blancos find themselves 1-0 up in the final. This is a complete and utter shock for us. A little handball maybe off Lucas Hernandez, and then the cutback. Jano Black at his near post gets defeated. And now Christian Eriksen has really put a dent in our Champions League hopes right here. Now Tenali. Forces it through to Kai Havertz. And now Kylian Mbappe make a run. And the Frenchman is off to the races today. He'll chip it over. And what a save. And now Kylian Mbappe with the bicycle kick off the line. Challenge in there. Oh, that is wonderful. And now Kylian Mbappe over the top. He's got it past Mukiele. Surely with that pace he can get past the defenders. And no, it's Diop who sent him out wide. Kylian Mbappe back into the middle. It will be Kai Havertz. And wow, what a big save. Over to Sandro Tonali. Maybe the Italian Stallion could provide us with the equalizer. No Courtois. Maybe right on the half. You never know. Mbappe, Mbappe, Mbappe. And it's over the bar. And that will be half time. We've got the second 45 minutes to redeem ourselves there because... That was nothing like the best team in career mode should be performing. Real Madrid currently the underdogs and currently performing. Just take a look at this. I mean, it's classic FIFA. One shot on goal and one goal. Paqueta finds its way through to Mbappe. And Mbappe, I thought he had the pace on him. But now Jao Felix Courtois again with the save. And how has that not gone in? Real Madrid parking the bus right now. It's like Jose Mourinho's at the home again. Denali. Jao Felix. And now Mbappe. Oh, that is absolutely breathtaking. From Kylian Mbappe, the best player in the world, and the Ballon d'Or winner. Both the 99 boys combining there. And finally, we get our well-deserved equaliser. Take a bow, son. And now the fans can start celebrating once more. The equaliser, and there we go. And it's Jao Felix, in fact, assisting him. And that finesse shot was placed to absolute perfection from our number seven. You could take a look at that for days, and in slow motion, it looks even better. Courtois completely missing it. And there we have it, our well-deserved equaliser, finally backed by Kylian. And now we have a game on our hands, lads. Bring it. He's lost our possession. He's won it back again, and he's lost it out. We've lost it out again, and Real Madrid, Diogo Jota. Gave me a little scare. Big tackle from De Ligt. He's kept it in as well. And that is what you love to see from the Dutchman. And now over to Kai Havertz. Back to Jao Felix. Back to Mbappe. And is that Lucas Paqueta making the run? It is. The Brazilian had the chance. And that was terrible from him. Now Lucas Paqueta. Sandro Tonali. Havertz with the cutback. Oh, that could have been perfect. And now it is Mbappe with a race against time. Mbappe, the individual brilliance is absolutely off the charts right here. And killing Mbappe, thankfully for him, because we were headed into extra time. And he had a little race with Mukiele there. He won the battle, not only in terms of pace, but in terms of strength as well. And the Real Madrid defender caught out there 
by the one, the only Mbappe, the best in the world, the GOAT, and the Ballon d'Or winner, Zinedine Zidane, has been absolutely rocked there, and the Frenchman might have inflicted an L on a French manager in the Champions League final. What a storyline. And there we go, it was the last kick of the game, and the best team of all time needed a 90th minute, 30 time winner, and a double of Kylian Mbappe to get the job done. We were absolutely horrendous, and somehow we've pulled away with the victory there. Christian Eriksen with the one and only goal for Real Madrid, but the best team of all time, FIFA 20 career mode. We have broken records. We've assembled a super squad. And like I said, comment down below. Tweet at me on Twitter. At BCHD official. Do you have a better squad than this? I highly doubt it. But I'd love to see your attempts right now. As we're going to lift up the trophy. It has been me, BCHD. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you did go ahead and enjoy it. Subscribe and turn on those notifications for more FIFA 20 career mode content and for more wacky videos like this. Experiments, challenges, rebuilds, you name it, we will do it here on the channel. As Kylian Mbappe lifts up the trophy, make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. I have been BCHD once more. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all on the very next video. The best team of all time. Here they are.